So Marshall College is a small, very expensive liberal arts school in the fictional town of Grayford, North Carolina. Annually ranked worst value by US News and World Report. And when the only remaining dean is found dead in his office, it might not be long for this world. Tate Callishaw is one of Marshall's mediocre faculty members. He's the one who finds the body of the dean with three bullet wounds in his head. The police call it a suicide, and Callishaw knows something is up, but mostly to save his own job, he becomes an amateur detective. So Tate Callishaw is legally blind, and this is based on my own experience being visually impaired. When I was 16, my optic nerves put in for early retirement, leaving me with large blind spots in my central field of vision. Getting around is mostly okay if interesting. Driving is impossible. Reading is next to impossible without high-powered magnifiers and assistive technology. Anyone who has ever taught at a college or university knows there are some serious problems in higher education. Academy Gothic is a satire, but the fate of a school like Partial College isn't as far-fetched as some readers might think. 